Okay, we're now doing an experiment on catalysts. So here we've got some dilute sulfuric acid, and we're going to put about two centimeters in each test tube. Okay, so we want them relatively to be the same. Just keep the there. And now this is the catalyst here. It's just copper shavings, and we're going to put a bit into one test tube and only one. Just to compare the reaction. So. <laughs> Now we're going to put about four pieces of zinc into each test tube to compare the reaction. Now notice that the bubbling, which is just the dissolving of the zinc metal and its reaction, is occurring faster in the test tube with the copper shavings rather than the one without the copper shavings. This is the catalyst in effect. Um, we're we're going to try to identify the gas that's produced by this reaction. We know that um, whenever you react a metal with an acid, um, a, a metal salt will be produced and hydrogen will be produced. To prove this, we do a test called the POP test. First, we'll try to collect hydrogen into this test tube. This might take a few minutes. <laughs> Hydrogen gas is lighter than air, it floats to the top and will be collected inside this test tube. Okay, ready? Go. Okay. Now, since we we'll hope that there's enough hydrogen gas in there, and then we'll light a match, and the match will combust with the um, hydrogen and it, will, it should create a popping noise. What a fail. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna light the match and see if we can, if we've got enough hydrogen to create that popping noise. And that is the pop test.